Well, you've been chosen as the best live band by, like, for example, Q Magazine, which is one of the most prestigious magazine, music magazines in the world. And I, I just wonder, you know, as, as, as you, d you are in the business longer and longer, and the thrill of performing, uh, is it still with you when, you when you go out? Oh, definitely. I mean, on stage, uh, well, I mean, not every show is great, but we try and leave every show pretty loose and pretty open so we remember them, for starters, and also so that there's a chance of, um, of a spark happening and uh, something spontaneous occurring. And I think because of that, the shows are... Um, there's, there's a, every night before we go on, there's a challenge and there's a potential to make it a, um, a magic evening. And, yeah, it's, it's totally seductive and we're still well into it. Can you describe what a, what a magical evening would be when you know that you've hit that? Well, in part, it's, it's how we play. I mean, if we're really listening to each other and we um, very carefully and concentrating on the music, we can jam quite a lot in the course of a, of a show. So there's been nights where we've actually written songs on stage or had memorable jams anyway, and those nights are usually our favourite ones. Or where something very humorous occurs, you know, one, a member of the audience decides to come up stage and, uh, you know, does the performance of their life. Or, um, you know, Paul's usually good for a couple of, um, a couple of anarchic moments. Where is he, by the way? Paul, he's, um, I'm not sure at this very moment, he's probably in bed. Uh, he's back in Melbourne, he's, uh, he's got uh, a pregnancy to deal with. He's pregnant? Yeah, oh, well, he's got several, actually. He's just got to work it out. <laughs> Excuse me? No, 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 just one at the moment. No, he's not here this time. He, uh, he sends his apologies. That's too bad. We miss him. All right, let's talk about this studio that's in New Zealand. Is that not overlooking the scene where the piano was shot? Uh, well, actually, it is exactly the same beach as where they shot the piano, yeah, and it was a coincidence that um, it happened to be, but we found a house through the production people that put the film together, and it was a house that Harvey Keitel stayed in while he was doing the movie, so it's um, had many uses now. That's great. And the owner was stupid enough to let us move in for two months. Did you trash it? Oh, completely, yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> it's a pretty durable we, house. We burned his log drums. Well, yeah, that's true. He has some, some log drums, which actually feature on the record, but um, and one night at three in the morning, somebody in a, in a rather inebriated state mistook them for firewood and Nick snatched them from the fire. I did snatch them from the clutches despair. of the inferno. Yeah. Honestly, someone because was putting them in the fire? Oh, and there yeah. would have been a, a curse on us for years. You know, one we'd never be able to live down again if we right. burned one of those log drums, because they are blessed by a, a, a Cook Island... Uh, Doctor. Yes. You're on uh, your own, Nick, come on. What are they, do witch doctors are they called? What are they oh, called? please. You know, Hello. elder. They oh, were blessed, these ones, and they ended up in the fire and did scorch one side of them, but anyway, they're fine now. No, the house is in good shape. You had to repaint, but um, we had to build an internal wall, and we also had to build a road up to the house. It's the first budget, album budget, I, I, that I'm aware of that's had roading costs in it, and we built a bridge as well while we were there. Um, what do you, Craig, you want to say something? No, I'm just give the fax number again. Oh, okay. Uh, Craig would like for me to tell you that if you'd like to have a song performed by these guys, our fax number is 416-591-6824, don't be shy. I also want to talk to you about the fact that it seems to me for the first time that you've uh, made a record that you're really celebrating where you're from. That there's, for the first time, indigenous Z New Zealand musicians on there. Yeah, well, I mean, that was part of the rationale for going back was that I'm a New Zealander and I never recorded in New Zealand and I thought it would be good to tap into some of the my um, my past and being there really you can't help but um, notice the strong Polynesian and Maori influence and we really wanted to just have an adventure and an exp experiment with um, putting together some Maori singing with uh, some Pacific log drumming and a brass band because I grew up also in, in a town that had a brass band as every New Zealand town has and every Christmas they'd go around on the back of the truck and play Christmas carols and it just drift over the back fence and it's a very mournful melancholy sound so uh, and it worked out beautifully. It really was an amazing day. We had a beautiful sunny day with about 60 people in the studio and um, the song Together Alone was, uh, was quite inspiring. It was good. When you wrote that song, did you hear this, this choir of, of, of uh, Maori vocalists? Um, <laughs> well, I wrote the song after the idea came up, actually. We wrote specifically for that idea. Yeah. We, we were sitting around discussing how good it would be to do this and then uh, sometime the next day I sat down at the piano and wrote the song specifically for it. So. The idea came first. And why lyrically does that song suit the choir? Um, and it doesn't really. No, <laughs> it could have been any song, but it was. I, I took the the lyrics I had together alone to this Maori guy called Bob Wehi, who was the leader of the group, and asked him to write some Maori lyrics for it. Um, along the 
the, the lines of Together Alone and uh, we discussed Maori legends and various things and he wrote these great, great lyrics which are very complimentary if anybody knew what they said Do over you know? here. I roughly know what they say. Tell yeah. me. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's just, it's Together Alone, here we are together. Um, actually, I'd have to look at the... Uh, look at the are you on your own, Neil? Translation now, thank you. Matthew. And you know that you, you did, for some reason, you didn't even put your lyrics in this album. Why not? No, so I would, I have, I wouldn't have to explain them. To people like you. <laughs> well, here we go. No, no. Those who, of us who listen to it the didn't albums. Didn't work, did it? No, well, I, I was actually a deadline thing that happened. We, I was thinking about putting the lyrics in, but Nick was doing the artwork in LA, and there was a miscommunication, and it didn't turn up. But we've been um, lambasted by our European fans, in particular, who have trouble because of the language. Oh, yeah. So perhaps at some point the lyrics will become available. Mm -hmm. But um, their vocals are mixed nice and loud, people can hear. Oh, they're beautiful. Well, uh, can you play another song for us? Yeah, sure. What song are you going to play this time? Uh, we'll do Black and White Boy. No, sorry, before you start, <clears throat> what is the song about? Well, it's about extreme behaviour. Um, I'll dedicate this one to Paul, who's at home at the moment. And uh, it's yeah, just about people who are so extreme, they take you on a roller coaster ride every day. Black and white boy Black and white boy You're so extreme I'm so confused Now color me in Whatever mood I'm in I could be still In touch with It's all sweetness and light that you bring And a room full of people will fall To your infinite charm But when darkness should quickly descend You go quietly, my miserable friend To the depths of despair you will crawl Black and white boy Black and white boy, you're so extreme, I'm so confused, now color me in, whatever mood I'm in, I could be still, in touch with you. Shake off the shadows of night And your eyes are so clear and so bright You make fools of the liars and creeps Put a rose in my cheeks But when demons have climbed on your back You are vicious and quick to attack And you put on a wonderful show Break and be back with more with Crowded House on Monday.